We have some new information tonight on a pedal pub crash that hurt 15 people. Two of them were critically hurt and three others very seriously. APD have now charged the driver with DUI and Atlanta pedal pubs is now looking at a business permit violation. 11 Alive's Don White is now joining us live in studio. Now you talked with our legal analyst who thinks that this crash could have some nationwide implications. Well, that's right, Madison. And for those of you who are not familiar, a pedal pub is a vehicle resembling a large bike. A driver steers it and several passengers help to pedal it, often while drinking alcohol. 11 Alive legal analyst Paige Pate believes the law may change because open containers aren't allowed in vehicles in Georgia and pedal pubs are considered vehicles. Well, it's a tragic situation, obviously, but something that really is not all that unexpected given the fact that you have so many people drinking on a mode of transportation in the middle of a busy, crowded street. 11 Alive so legal analyst see, Paige Pate uh, believes this crash could set a legal precedent for pedal pubs and not just in Atlanta. I would expect this to lead to tighter regulation and enforcement of the ordinances that are already on the books and perhaps some cities, Atlanta included, may reconsider allowing this type of operation to even exist. This video shows injured passengers from the crash Saturday evening at the busy intersection of Peachtree and 14th Street in Midtown Atlanta. Trash and alcoholic beverages littering the street. The DUI charge is not surprising at all. That would apply if the driver was just on a bike by himself and intoxicated and driving on a city street. Not surprising. It's a misdemeanor offense. There's mandatory jail time involved, even if it's his first offense. Pate adds the company can also be held liable. The company likely has insurance, a policy that can cover this, and I would absolutely expect anyone who was injured in this accident to file a claim with that insurance or potentially sue the company and the driver for any injuries they may have sustained. Pate says the amount of money those injured could get will depend on the severity of their injuries. Obviously, those who are more seriously injured will likely receive more money. I would be surprised if the insurance company for the pedal pub company doesn't just settle with these people. We reached out to the company for a comment and we have not heard back yet. Now, Don, he talked a lot about these people considering filing a lawsuit. Now, what would actually happen if they do pursue that avenue? Paige Pate says if multiple people do pursue a lawsuit, it is likely to exceed the value of the insurance policy, and this could possibly lead to big financial problems for the company and the driver.